Yes, sir. Hey! Whoa! All right, everybody, let me give y'all a sneak peek into what the Airbnb is looking like out here in El Salvador. I'm gonna take this moment to refresh, you know, take a shower, freshen up, you know, get this airport airplane smell off of me, and then I'll catch y'all later, and then I'll show y'all what we're up to then. Let's get it. You see we in El Salvador, we at Walmart, we're about to check out, you know, the produce section and see what they have in here. So, you know, uh, your boy can whip it up. Hopefully they got some mushrooms and they have everything that I need and that I can get when I'm cooking back home. So whenever I travel, the first thing I like to do is hit the supermarket so I can get some water. You know, we're gonna get a whole bunch of these and make sure we stay hydrated for the whole trip. I need to work on my Spanish, but I just asked the lady, you know, where the vegan produce and mushrooms and all of that and she let uh led me to here so we got some portobello mushrooms all right we got we got the string beans at the bottom okay Live from El Salvador. Got in, a little tired. So we decided to Uber eat some uh, vegan food. I believe the name, El Veggie SV Escalon. Let's get into some food now to check and see what El Salvador has to offer when it comes to vegan food. Let's get it. Okay. Okay, okay. So we have here, we have these amazingly looking fried mm, cauliflower tacos. Look at the close up. You see the avocado, you see the cauliflower battered. Mm, get the close up of the fries. You know. Those, these fries remind me of the, the old school potato wedges from KFC. <laughs> Oh love, oh love. If I'm showing y'all food, let me just show y'all. Look at the Kali. Mmm. 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 Woo! Love. Now it's time for the taste test on this burrito. Cause I gotta eat. I'm over here showing y'all everything. I gotta eat too, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So we have the soya canita, which is basically the vegan version of, you know, beef. They're soy beef. So if you want a closer look up, look at this, you see the soy beef, you see the rice, you see the black beans, you see the tomatoes, you see the onions, you see the carrots. Mmm. Yo. Yo, this is fire. Wow. Wow. Mmm. El Salvador. 
Y'all got some amazing vegan food. This is only day one. This is only meal one. I can't wait to try some more. Let's get it. All right, everybody. We finally head in to go get some food. We're gonna head over to Soya Nutribar and we're gonna see all the amazing vegan options that they said that they have and we're gonna taste it and I'm gonna let y'all know exactly what it's hitting for. Let's get it. All right, everybody. We in the streets of El Salvador, you feel me? We out here and I just pulled up. Oh, y'all like the shades, ha. Huh? And I just pulled up to Soya, a vegan and vegetarian health food spot out here. We're gonna make sure that we eat real, real, real good. And like I said, I'm gonna give y'all, you know, I'm gonna show y'all what it, what it looks like inside, what the food tastes like. Let's go. Let's go take a look. Hola. All right. We have so many fruits. We have the cucumber, we have the beets, carrots, banana. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, this is a zaboka, right? If you from Haiti, you know what this is. This is that zabo, you feel me? Hmm, okay, hold on. What we got, we got the eggplants, the apple, we got the pineapple, and like I told ya, Zabo. <laughs> Shout out to all my Haitians, Zaboka. We have the different sauces. Okay. Ooh, look, hold up, hold up. Look at what we look at what we found here. We found a vegan parmesan. Hey, we found a vegan Parmesan. I mean, it's not that difficult to make, but they sell it in the stores out here in El Salvador. Look how far the vegan experience has come and is coming. Okay, so we see that they have the wellness going on here. Nice, beautiful plants. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. So we're going to be eating in the garden today. Okay. We're going to be all right. This is nice and beautiful. Okay, so, you know, our taxi driver decided to join us for some vegan food. Anna. Say hello. Anna. You gotta say hello. You gotta okay. wait. <laughs> and now we have the hongos, which is mushrooms in Spanish. We have the black beans. We have the yuca. We have the aguacate. We have the lechuga. Come on, it's like I'm full-time Spanish now. I'm learning all the Spanish here in El Salvador. Let me show y'all something though. Hold on, let me. Let me remove the sauce so the sauce doesn't spill over. I want y'all to see all the good eats. All right. I'm gonna get everything for y'all so y'all can see. Just a masterpiece. You see it, you see the mushroom, you see the aguacate, you see everything. Now see it go into my mouth, pause. Mmm, mmm, wow. Mmm, wow. That's good. Mm -hmm.
I gotta try the sauce. You know I'm real saucy. Mmm. Alright everybody, ah oh, man, I gotta put y'all on, I gotta put y'all on to this spot, Soya. The food was absolutely incredible, you know, um, I had the mushrooms, they were seasoned to perfection, the avocado was amazing, it was fresh, everything here tastes so fresh, like they just got it off the farm in the back behind me. Um, the lechuga, the lettuce was so fresh, and you know, I come from New York City, so we don't always get the freshest lettuce, right? Sometimes you can taste when the lettuce isn't fresh, even the juice was amazing, the lemonade. Um, and it's crazy because, you know, as I mentioned uh, previously, you know, this is a vegan and vegetarian spot. So, you know, you have to just ask certain questions if you're not too sure about what is in the food because you want to make sure, especially as a vegan, right, that everything is vegan, right? There may be some items that may contain honey. So you'll just ask that question and then they'll let you know what's what. But the food here today was amazing. The yucca, you know, I haven't had yucca in quite some time and this made me, you know, miss and truly enjoy yucca. It was chopped up. Y'all saw the food anyway. The black beans was amazing and that sauce, I'm not too sure what kind of sauce it was, but it wasn't sweet and it wasn't hot. Um, it didn't have too much of a strong taste, but it still meddled in with the other flavors and there was a balance right and I was able to enjoy that and it was amazing so if you're in El Salvador specifically San Salvador you definitely have to come out to soya bar you know and check it out the food is amazing the people are amazing and the service is great let's get it all right everybody we are on our way to surf city but I happened to see on the side of the road, you know, uh, the fruit stand lady. <laughs> she has some beautiful coconuts over here. They're nice and fresh. So we're gonna have her cut some up so that we can get hydrated. And yeah, let's do it. We got, we got the coconut right there. Mmm. Mmm. You see where we're at? We're literally on the highway drinking coconut juice. Oh, coconut water, coconut juice, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're enjoying right now. This is so beautiful. I love El Salvador. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. It's hot out here today. We are en route to uh, Surf City, El Tunco Beach. Right now, we're just looking for parking. Uh, we're trying to figure out, you know, where we can park, but it's already beautiful. Welcome to El Tunco, Surf City. Hey, look at the beautiful beach behind me, the water, the waves, the surfers. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? I found my new best friend. His name is Bronco. What's up, Bronco? Say hello to Instagram. Say hello to YouTube. Say hello to everybody. Oh, 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 hey. Okay, you know we gotta eat, and we out here in El Tunco. And look what we found, we found soya. Ah. Doesn't the tomatoes look like, look like pepperoni? Uh -huh. Let's get a close up. <laughs> Fire. Hey. <laughs> we have our driver eating vegano pizza. <laughs> the mushrooms. Oh yeah. Woo. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. I told y'all I'm showing y'all everything that we eat. Mm. We are here at Picnic Steakhouse. You feel me? And I know y'all might be confused and they're saying, what's eating vegan with Nick doing at a steakhouse? Don't get it twisted, I'm not eating any steak. But today, what we are gonna be doing is, we're gonna, have, we're gonna be doing a little adventurous things, right? <laughs> Look at the giraffe. We're gonna be having some fun today. And we're gonna be checking out the infamous rainbow slide. Oh yeah, let's get it. This is what we're doing today. We're gonna be on the infamous rainbow slide. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go down the slide. We're gonna go down, we're gonna do it. Hey! Up. Woo! Hmm. Ready? Yes, sir. Hey! Whoa! My shoe flew off <laughs> while we were doing it. <laughs> he had to get it for me. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm not gonna lie. That was a nice little adrenaline rush. A good 10 seconds and I was just flying. My shoe came off. Everybody's laughing at me. I don't know what happened. This was a lot of fun. Definitely gotta do it again. Hey. <laughs> All right, everybody, you know we gotta eat. That's what we love to do. That's what we enjoy doing. And uh, look where we pulled up. We literally, <laughs> we literally pulled up in front of Mikai Vegana and Vegetariana. Looks like a mom and pop shop, okay. They weigh the food. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Let me show you what we're eating out here in El Salvador. The food is amazing. They cook their plantains a little different. It's kind of almost like a deep fry. So look at the plantain. It looks like a chicken nugget, right? And then lo and behold, the plantain. <laughs> also, the protein that we have seems it's a bit soy based, so I'm gonna show y'all the texture. Mmm, that's good. Giving me chicken vibes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know you can never go wrong with rice, with the veggie rice. Let me show y'all that. here in El Salvador does not miss, especially on the vegan side. I can't speak about anything else. The food here is amazing. I've been telling y'all the people here are amazing. They season this meal really well and it's not, it's not missing any flavor. Wow. If you're in El Salvador, you definitely have to check out Mikai. They have two uh, locations. Uh, shout out to the owner of this restaurant. The food is prepared well. It's giving a home vibe, you know, like a mom and pop restaurant. And I can just really say that I'm truly, truly, truly falling in love with El Salvador. I'm for sure falling in love with the food out here, with the people out here, and the weather. Let's get it. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show y'all another vegan spot. This vegan spot is called El Veggie. Here we go. All right, everybody, y'all see what's going on. We're here at El Veggie. We're about to get busy. Look at the burger that I ordered. It's 
This is a heartbeat burger. Hmm. Let me show y'all what we're working with today. Hey, you feel me? Mmm. Mmm. That's good. And, mm, I have this, this peppery taste. And some nice kickback. Mmm. Wow, so now we also have the chicken fingers. Mmm, but no chicken though. Ah, let me show you how these look right now. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to dip it in the BBQ sauce. Nice surprise. Mmm. 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 That looks like chickpea. This is so refreshing on the first baby sip. Mm. Oh yeah, this is amazing. El Veggie, y'all did one with this lemonade, salute. I'm gonna enjoy this messy burger and I'm gonna holla at y'all later. You can't be out here and not get a pupusa. You feel me? Legendary spot, let's get it. Mmm, we gotta put the toppings on it. Mm. Okay. I dip it in the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.